Hi, this is Eric from Eric's Home Network, and this question is from Danny Wilmoth. His question is, I have the same router as you. Could you explain or do a video on how to change the username and password? Thank you. Your channel has been very helpful to me. Well, thanks for that comment. I appreciate it. I'm glad I can help some people out. So here's how you would change the password if you have the TP-Link Archer C7 version 3. If you have an older version, the, v the V1 or V2, this I guess the UI is different, so it won't work the same for you. But if you have the latest version, this is how you do it. Go to your browser and just open up your administrative interface. You go to tplinkwifi.net, and this will be your router that it'll log into. By default, you're going to use admin and admin for the username and password. I've changed mine, so I'm going to type in my credentials. And you log in. Once your router interface loads, you go over to the left side and you go to System Tools. You scroll down and you go to Password right here. Then up here, you can type in your old username. So if yours, if you haven't changed yours, you would type in Admin for the old username. And you type in Admin again for the old password. Then you can set your, your new username, like right here, like I set mine to EMMX. It's just what I use for whatever reason and then you can type in your new password twice right here uh, personally you can use whatever you want for your password uh, I recommend using a secure password uh, I like to use a combination of two uppercase characters two lowercase two numbers two special characters um, some people think that's a little overboard but I don't know I was in the Marines and I was in IT and that was just the standard you had to have you had to use a password that was two upper, two lower, two special characters. You couldn't use numbers in succession, like one, two, three, four. You couldn't use your name. You couldn't use your one of your past 15 passwords. It was pretty ridiculous. But So I got used to change my password every month, and it's just this, the standard I use. But you can use whatever you want. I just recommend using something secure. Uh, for example, let's just go do a quick example. Uh, if you wanted to do something like, if you want to use, you can use like a phrase like, I love TP link routers. So you would use, I, let's just say, I love TP link routers. But you wouldn't want to just say that. You would want to change it up so it's uh, something that you can't really guess. So you might want to change it to something like the number one for I, uh, I and then capital L, a zero, V3, uh, TP, link, routers, bang, bang, or something like that. So it's pretty secure, but it's something that, you know, it's easy to remember. You just got to remember, you know, maybe you change, use something consistent, like change all the I's to ones or all the three E's to threes or something. So it's easier for you to figure, to remember what it is. Um, so that's how you change your password. Thanks for watching.